Kevin basically spent the whole show. And and I want to get your take on it. Was there any communication after the show between you two? No. And, and where are you now with the show? Are you done? As, fa- as far as I know, I'm done. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. Well, no, I, well, you should know if you're like. Oh yeah, I, I would say I'm done. You know, but I'm just like. Uh, if Kevin were to send you a link today to come on, would you? No, go it's on? not like that. We. I. I talk to people. I fucking. I. I need to sit down and talk and say this is what you know what I mean. This is the deal. This is what happens. You tell me your shit. You know what I mean. And then we go from there. But if not, no. Like I'm not in a rush to do any, I, I, I'm going to do my own thing, you know? Oh, people are saying that they should rebrand uh Freddie Mercury show to a gay mob show. <laughs> just, that's what people are saying. I don't know. I mean, we're stoned enough to do it. Don't get me wrong. We, we agree to Freddie Mercury. Yeah, we'll I mean, it's like I get, I, I, from what I do, I do this, I do that. I, I did everything to make the show where it's profitable for you. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Bob, you've not communicated with Kevin since a very quick phone call yesterday afternoon. He hasn't reached two, out to two you at quick all. Phone calls, two quick phone okay. calls. That so, so when you say you're not on the show anymore, you're just assuming that based on what all of us saw. Yeah, we never talked. I, there's okay. no way. I'm just not going to get a link and go on. I mean, Adam sent me a link yesterday and said, "You can, you, if you want to come, you can come on if you want to. If I want oh. to, all of a sudden I'm the fucking out guy. Get the fuck out." So of you're here. taking yourself off the show, is what you're saying? Well, yeah. It's like, wh- what am I doing? You know what I mean? What am I doing? Here, I, here I was trying to get Chad Zubak's job. I guess I'm going to get Bob's job. I'm be the second mic <laughs> yeah. on this show now. All right. Yeah. Thank you. So what's crazy about it is like, you know, Kevin sitting here somehow trying to pin this on me that I'm the reason why Bob's no longer on them. No, and it's far from that. If if I, anybody came up to me and said, hey, come and do a show on our network, and it was the right thing, and I did one show, Shirley would say, go. Yeah, have fun. I have been. Show. Even when yeah. even when Kevin was shitting on me and the network and everything we do here, I never once came to Bob and said, you got to make a choice. I pay you, so you better have my values and opinions the same, uh, you know, because I – which is what Kevin said yesterday. He, so, his exact quote was, how much do I have to pay for your loyalty? That was the quote. So, Shuli, you're saying there's no truth to what Chad said. He had it on good authority that there was going to be an intervention in Pottstown, and you guys were going to tell Bob he could no longer be on MLC. He had to choose one or the other. He's partially partially right. There was an intervention in Pottstown, but it was about Ray not staying at the house. That was (laughs) what No, there was no – I hate to – listen, I'm sure Chad has some very reliable sources, but in this case, he is wrong. None of us, I don't, I want Bob happy. That is what a friend wants for a friend is, is I want him happy. And for a while he was very happy doing that show and he was, he was making good money. And I, I'm never going to get in the way of that. Not in a million years. It's fine. Kevin can shit on me all he wants. I really don't give a shit. But when I see I just it, thought it was thing, like uncomfortable at times. And I go out of all the people, out of all the people that are out there. Why something I'm on? That's all. That was the only. Uh, I've always said that, and he's like, yeah. "Okay, I, I get it." And then it went. Then it uh, the once Pottstown came up, like I guess when the other thing came up, and Chad couldn't handle the, you know, the when we were out in Rochester, it, it all it blows up then. And I mm-hmm. I don't. And I'm not okay. If anybody was in the green room, how how long was I talking to Kumia? We're we're best friends. We're drinking. We talked for maybe three to five minutes. But who gives a and shit? He, no, like, no, but like, here's the thing. He, no, like here's the chick. thing. He's he a chick wanted like, Kumi on you... the show. He Wait, wanted what? Kumi on the show that Friday. Of course. And of I course. said, I'll ask him when I'm there. And I go, you know, and, he, and Anthony would talk for a second. We laughed about something. He goes, are we cool? I go, yeah, we're cool. That's it. And then I go, uh, Kevin wants to know if you want to come on Friday. And I go, maybe we can go on next thursday and he goes yeah i would like to end this bullshit that's to me seemed like a good thing it would sure. fucking get uh get gino out of the bullshit doing stuff with kevin you know what i mean ending that because it was basically going to be like you know fuck it and then stop the bullshit stop it you know anthony doesn't want to deal with that shit 
Well, and yeah. Then all of a sudden it didn't work out when I came back. 